bit nicely, but again on the attack, Arrows. A little tickle through to Patrick and Koma. Koma's got some space! Didn't hit it. And again, here it is the opportunity by Patrick and Koma. He bits his man uh, rather easily there, uh, Andrew Kili. Sanako got away with one right there. Red Arrows letting Sanako off the hook early on. Battling away, Bronson Chalmer does get a piece of it. Power's been caught, Andrew Kiliko again involved. Certainly has been getting very involved this afternoon and gets involved one more time as he's taken on by Patrick and Koma. The keeper spills it! Ooh, nervy moment. And like we all know, some of these players for, in, for clubs like in Denny. Oh. Nice turn from Joseph Zimber in front of Moses Piri. Match level at nil-nil. Tanaka would be a little bit nervous about that because Zesco United playing, tries to lay it inside, slips over in the process and Augustine Molenga will have it back for Zanaco. And uh, two draws and two losses for Zanaco and suddenly it just looked... Goma. Well, Goma quite happy to take on his opponents, trying to get past back. And all three of them and they've been in uh, great, but more than that, convert them. What a great start to the second half for Red Arrows. And if you didn't have enough drama at the start of today's proceedings, well, sit back and let this evolve. Oh, well, certainly, Kawiliko is having a bit of a... Roderick Kawir still wondering why he's doing on warming that bench. Red Arrows could go up to 38 points. Another opportunity for Red Arrows. Musa Kanya is the closest. At the moment, Red Arrows are looking safe from relocation. Lovely flow about Red Arrows. They've been on the back foot just the last five minutes or so. Patrick and Koma for the African Cup of Nations. Opportunity here for Patrick and Koma. Andrew Quilico. And that, I think, is the first corner kick of the match, unbelievably. Oh, but it's such a interesting player. They've easily tapped it in. Patrick and Koma. Again, there's just a little bit of space available. down in, the, in Division 1 while your friends are winning the league. That's not happening. And Koma with the two goals they've grabbed in the second half. Combe forward and Koma looking for space. Looking for one of those driving shots that we see from the holding midfielder. But again, Patrick and Koma looking to terrorise as a knocker defence. Knocked away by Bronson Chama. Goma with space amongst their supporters, players, coaching staff, all in sundry. We'll wait to see what changes are made at Red Arrows during the off-season. But there will be football here at the Mkoloma Stadium in 2015. Trophy presentation for Zanaka today. Five minutes of time has been added on by the referee. The hero last, last, in the last game. Look at the work done here by Patrick and Goma. Can they make it fall? They certainly can. Counter-attack football from Red Arrows. Banda with no hopes of stopping it. What a, you know, rethink. Well, it's, a, it's a four goal difference. And they won by five goals to one in, uh, in that encounter in 2011 in October. And it's a four goal difference at the moment. Lean Goma chessing. Goalkeeper Mangani Banda coming out. But uh, well placed by Patrick Goma there to make it 4 0. Goodness. Mm, beaten it to 